there's always something on the tip of my tongue Something political to spit or just to sit when I'm drunk But the fear is intrinsic and the shit isn't fun The fear of doing nothing or the criticism when done I mean it's kinda pathetic, like why would I stress it? I know the right kind of rhymes to make my writing impressive Can rap with violent aggression, they're all insightful and pensive But time together I get decline and progression Cause life moves fast and there's a lot to observe A lot I got to preserve if it's a song in the works But how can I solemnly be honest in verse if I ain't honest with myself when I'm concocting these words like Mr. Jump to top tier from the proving ground That's old news Cause I'm Mr. If I spit free rhymes I don't lose They know You tweeted You was coming here to smoke Tone's boots But no you ain't And that loose tongue will get his own legs Your knees are so replaced guy He'll get worn out Like old shoes You having second thoughts Now I know you Wish you never answered the call Like Colin Farrell in phone booth On this cardiac like on this cardiac like trouble, that's a cold blue. I split your dome into sections for entertainment, like the O2. This cold blue. What's good? Don't flop all fucking day. You know the score. It's your boy uh, at, uh, on the Instagram, on the Twitter. You know the score. We're here back in Brixton, Jam for the one millionth time. It is the second annual Sunburn event. Sunburn 2, where you at? Make some noise. <laughs> UK vs UK 32 battles, shout out to everybody that killed it at a warm up last night Make sure you log on facebook.com slash viewpointdf That's viewpoint letter D letter F Join the forum, please leave a comment on this battle First battle of the entire main day weekend On my right hand side From Don't Flop back in 2010 Making his return, my man Stowaway Make some noise yeah. Yeah. Tried out last year, been killing it this year since Leeds In January, my man Heretic Make some noise yeah. Yeah. These two MCs requested this one to be judged. We don't you that do that too much, but even though it is judged, please make sure you leave a comment in the YouTube section on Twitter, wherever you want, with the hashtag Sunburn2. All right, starting off the weekend on the left-hand side of my man Heretic. Let's go. Stowaways back. Man, your hiatus was some tough shit. Because you got so sick of people rhyming stowaway with go away that you just <laughs> did. <laughs> But you did it just as the scene started getting the attention of the public And don't flop grew without anyone wanting his return when this mug quit See that's why the name of a stowaway is a just fit Cause nobody notices or gives a fuck when you jump ship I mean every return appearance you make is a return appearance too many Please observe <laughs> Cause when the lineup for this weekend got announced People were more excited for fucking Bleak's return So the name... <laughs> So the name stays fitting, don't see this as an open door Cause any moment a stowaway shows his face, he's going overboard Now you, you have compared yourself to Alan Partridge before <laughs> And this is why I have no respect, he's not the kind of guy you want to be like Especially if you're rapping with threats But one thing that occurred to me, is we're battling on even terms at a massive event And I'm 19, I'm a decade younger than you Back <laughs> Now one negative effect of the fact this prick's ancient is that it's 2015 and you make 80s synth music in the hope you'll get famous. You have had 30 years to get 80s music to sound good. <laughs> and it still sounds like a shit failure. I was sat laughing at your techno tunes like Mark Corrigan with a fit neighbour. What, what genre do you describe this music as? Synthwave, funkwave, dreamwave. Retrowave. Take a random musical buzzword to extend with wave. <laughs> try, and, try and revive a terrible genre by giving it a pretentious name. <laughs> Stop. Because just like the rap style that you present on stage, it's old redundant shit and should have been left in the decade from whence it came. <laughs> Hey, word to pamphlet, it's good to be back at the venue. Wait, if he's here, who's guarding that Aztec temple? <laughs> See, I've been through a transformation. Cats don't know the man you're facing. Stood at the base of a grand formation, I am the mason. See, I've been well since April. Pacing for a battle, steady waiting to put the bar to someone's face. That's that Baz Rutten demonstration. See, yeah, you're getting some props. People are feeling your style. In the same time frame, I ain't been seen in a while. 
See, I was made in the 80s like Master of Puppets. Your fans are flocking idiots, you're a pastor of Muppets. <laughs> <laughs> My acid star makes you sick to your stomach, you better quick learn a frog line to feel it in your chest, that's a sick burn. Awesome. See heavy lines that hold shit down, that's what I build my foundation on. How come every clip of you looks like you have foundation on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, what's your brand of makeup, Don? Check it, it's awesome. <laughs> Check it, it's awesome. These two girls here are jealous, your complexion is flawless. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking rainforest princess looking. <laughs> In Pocahontas, Disney face, featherweight. <laughs> don't get a pretzel, mate. We don't share any traits, that's all lies. I'm smarter than your smart side, I'm rawer than your raw side. Wait, you have no raw side. You're combined in a lab from all the worst parts of the middle class is trying to rap. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's not masked up with a stick like Casey Jones. He reads the audio guides for visitors in stately homes. <laughs> See, bro thinks he's gonna quote some shit I said, be all sarky and get cheers, like I didn't start that shit and wasn't doing it for years. See, I've done battles you can talk about. Seriously, true, I've taken risks and made mistakes, that makes it easy for you. I battled her and you now, with, on stage and shit the bed. Um, <laughs> properly, shit the bed. Uh, I had bad timing and didn't blow up with my friends. I couldn't perform well, so, though I was kind of dope with the pen. Should have done that spoken word in round two, not at the end. But look, I learned from my mistakes, I sat and thought it out. It's tough for me because you've done nothing fucking interesting to talk about. In your whole life. <laughs> See, this is your whole battle career. Danny Jack's a fucking boss, Kid Verbal needs a hug. Bizzo, <laughs> Bizzo loves Maltese, Rob Wilson wore a cool jumper. <laughs> That's it. Like, what am I supposed to do with that shit? <laughs> I'm saying if Big J... Harry Baker, the sheer genius of Pedro couldn't cut me out when I was slowly going to, into a coma with my brain and body shutting down. What makes you think you've even got the slightest chance right fucking now? Trick question, you haven't. That's one. <laughs> Remember when you used the word anti-disestablishmentarianism in a rap album? <laughs> Then claimed you deserved a prize for using the longest word yet. Seriously, what a knob. You then reminded us a year later, like, oh, I said a word. Other battlers say words, but still, they're not as long. <laughs> now, you're from Wales, right? Well, if you think you should really have got some props, you can fuck off back to Sian Fire Pinsquingus. <laughs> Yeah, like, oh, I said a word, other battles say words, but still they are not as long, and you're from Wales, right? So if you think you should really have got some props, you can fuck off back to Sian Fire the Pilch Gwingish, go get a quind, rub it, Sian Silly, or go, go, go. It's actually the name of a real Welsh town, so don't worry if you didn't understand it. Just know that that's now the longest word used in a rap battle. <laughs> longest word used in a rap battle and that's how I taught your fucking language. So you tried to claim you're a better rapper by using a long word and that was a terrible angle but don't worry because you've got bad bars too so it's not even the stupidest thing you've said in a battle. See against Pedro you said it's like I really hate golf because I'm not playing around. <laughs> And obviously there was no... Well, no, it looks all right. Carry on. <laughs> it's atmospheric. It's atmospheric. It's like I really hate golf because I'm not playing around. And of course, there was no reaction. The crowd weren't making a sound. But instead of just moving the fuck on, you said it again, but slowed down. Like, seems like golf. Like, and the silence the second time was even more painfully profound. And that is why you got put on the demo channel. 
It's not astounding to me. You can claim you aren't playing around, but how can that be? You were hungry to beat him, but with bars like that, you were bound for defeat. Because what's the use in having good drive if you can't get it down to a T? Let's go, round two. Hey, check me out. You look like the sort of person that I'd avoid because they'd go on about yoga and meditation, and I like <laughs> yoga and meditation, but you'd be really smug and annoying about it and it would put me off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do some bars. <laughs> Look, your whole thing, I just don't get you. You're not some top professor, why'd you drop with a conjecture of a condescending lecture? Your little speeches are boring, I ain't having them. Those tiny rounds put me to sleep, that's Valium. See, I don't need to switch up and start shooting, I'm still here to bring the art to it, trying to get some hearts moving. If I did start schooling with the weapons drawn, my gun would be so big, it'd have its own stand, that's tech support. Just to make that clear. But look, I'm not, doing, I'm not gonna do a gun bar. Or am I? <laughs> Kid, what do you know about holding a Glock 17 pistol when you're 13 years old and your mate's older brother tells you his body's on it so you shit yourself and try and rub the prints off like in a film and then, and then they start... Hold <laughs> on, oh, real shit. And then they start making fun of you and saying it's a joke but you're alright because you've got some bootleg videos but then they make fun of you about it every time you go around the yard and they give you the nickname Fingerprints. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah. That's real, that's real. <laughs> That's some proper in over your head awkward white guy stuff you'll never understand so why try? How are you going to talk on Danny Jack's white side when I hate to break it to you but you're kind of on the light side? <laughs> Just saying, here's a quick tip for you writing dude, don't split bars in a battle if they apply to you. It's obvious isn't it? Think of it like an own goal in football. <laughs> Look, and you were well too chuffed when Rob Wilson called you black. I don't have a point. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a punchline in store for that. It's just sort of an awkward fat caught on camp. <laughs> but look, I like black coffee, black comedies, black metal. Even Joker Star said I'm blacker than you. He speaks for all black people, so that's factually true. <laughs> look, there's no way you're winning this, not just a little bit. Listen, kid, run your stuff, stand and deliver shit. I deliver it, intricate, ran standardly random and interesting. You stand so bland and deliberate, full bar construction from you around syndicate, set up and pause, then some filler shit, do it real loud, and they think that you're killing it. Yeah. That trait is so blatant, just face it, that stuff just to stand it like jokes in a way, kid. I'm saying, explaining your phrasing, I'm waving distracts from the fact that you're really not saying shit. I'm saying shit. This guy? Nah. That's fine. So you sometimes do this thing where you start your third by going, third round breakdown. Look like your closing angle's really gonna leave them laid in the earth. Well, let me try that for this round and we'll see if the tables can turn. See, against Mickey, you tried to claim, as many others have, that you invented the nerdy style. And that should have meant your praise name dropped Jefferson Price and Mark Brist as you wrapped off this set of names, but they were better than you. What, you attacked the ones getting fame because you were incapable of stepping up to adapt to the better game? You also name dropped Mixie, Most Prob, Eek, said all that went on centre stage and... Wait, you're responsible for Eek. You should be hanging your head in the shit. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> but all that style really comes down to is dry British comedy. And I bet you think that stuff's impressive. Moving the same way that Robert fucking Webb did to show how much of a bum that Jez is. But if you think that concept works, then you must be stretching your partridge pitching monkey tennis. So that role, I'll steal from him till he'll stop it like the one Neil Godwin fucked up Brent with. Now that is a lot of dry British comedy. But it's clear that that shit is true, and on a technical level, it's clear that I can spit with you, so I didn't just come here with the intention of outwitting you. I came to out Gervais, out Coogan, and out David Mitchell. <laughs> And that's why you should have given up when you saw this club had newer members. Because you're not properly veteran, maybe an honourable mention. Making way for the tougher new contenders. And yes, you did sarcasm five years ago. And at the time, that stuff meant you were clever. But right now, there's plenty of battlers in my generation who can fucking do it better. <laughs> Check. 
I'm off the kid. I'm off the pills. The kid in Limitless hid in his crib. For that hair you have to pay. That's why I'm splitting your wig. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm set up, You know I'm setting up a sub line and doing it there while the predator's cool. Wouldn't copy his hairstyle. <laughs> Look, check it out, that is your exact hair, it's stupid. It's too small, you can't really see it properly. Look, that is your exact hair. It's just weird, isn't it? Because like, the credit is this badass alien from like another planet, and you're like a shit rapper from Birmingham, and you've got, and you've got that thing in common. It's crazy. <laughs> Kid, I should kick you in the dick for having an alien's hair. But that'd distract him in the battle and it wouldn't be fair. That's sportsmanship. You talking, that's torturous. You'll show off that sort of shit. I thought, this kid's gonna be deep, he's gonna have a lot to say. And surprise, surprise, guess who didn't have a lot to say? Let me guess. Uh, UK is tough, cops and government corrupt. You have to drink and smoke weed to put up with the stuff. So you think you're profound and your shit is so clever because you put in some irrelevant literature reference that shit's about as clever as an F of EastEnders you're really getting clever mixed up with pretentious. <laughs> oh wait, but he knows who Plato is. <laughs> it's truly is a prophecy. What do you do there champ? Fucking Google search philosophy. <laughs> Oh, and he talks about the Bible in olden times. He's clever, isn't he? Look. No, he's just read a GCSE history book. <laughs> you've ruined, you've ruined Blake, oh, you've ruined quoting stuff sarcastically to break it down. I don't want to even want to do it because you played it out. But you can have that. Put it in your little hemp backpack. <laughs> that ain't even what I'm mad at. <laughs> See, look, if part of my style is your whole style, we're not equals, that's dumb. It's a mass exaggeration to say you're even my son, you're like a copy of part of the steez I keep in my thumb. See, it doesn't matter how you spend on your, it doesn't matter how long you spend on your setups getting deep, or you do four bar constructions and it's boxed up very neat. I can bet your whole style is not any reach. Any line you make is useless on the wrong Tetris piece. Ooh. See, you got no ID. Your software, I see weakness in you. I got rage. You feel the quake when I speak in the room. I don't, I'm not PC. I don't play day, games. That's why you met your doom. The only heretic I fuck with is Hexen too. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the pen is legit, so you know that Stowe is a fuck. Uh, the pen is legit, so you know that Stowe's in the function. That's the end of the shit. What, when you have explosions or something? <laughs> <laughs> now, you said in one of your tracks, I'm not in it for the dough, but I wouldn't mind the hovis. 